يا السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته علي بابا اي وود لايك تو جيف يو 100 باوندز اف يو انسر تو كويشن اي هاف وان از Yeah. No, I know, I know, I know who this is. Yeah, you, are you Christian? Yeah. No, I'm a Muslim. I'm a converted. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, give me yes. 100 pounds about this condition. What is this? Yeah, just a moment. Yeah, just a moment. Three weeks ago, a young uh, ex-Muslim com- uh, called in and gave his shahada. And you said, yeah. mashallah, you see. And then I called you and I told you that I'm a former apostate. And if we both were in your hand and your... Uh, you know, man-made law, uh, killing opposite, we would have been killed, we wouldn't be able to convert to Islam, to learn and convert to Islam. Unfortunately, you didn't answer me, you removed me, and you delete your entire uh, uh, live stream. So I no, want I didn't. to... I, ask, I take ask, the live down. I didn't delete okay. it. I take it down. Yeah. Yes, you took it. You first you took it down half the, the part which I was, and then you took the, the other half. I, I have recorded the half. Okay, anyways, so... My question is to, to you is that why you believe and you go against Quran because there are many verses in Quran that goes against your fabricated hadith about killing apostate and why you think that I should get have been point. killed. Get your, get your point, please. Ask your question. My point, my point is that Quran chapter 16 verse 61 says, if Allah were to punish people immediately for their wrongdoing, he would have not left a single living being on earth. But he delays them for an appointed term, and when their t- uh, time arrives, they cannot delay it for a moment, nor can they uh, advance it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me time. Uh, it took me 10 years to learn and realize that I was wrong, and I converted to Islam. But you would have killed me. You would have executed me, and you say that you are proud of it. So, can you answer me why you think that you uh, you an apostate should be killed? You said to me, you okay, said to me, to you're, you said to me you're gonna, if I answer these two questions, you're going to give 100 pounds. Are you going to stick to your yes. word? This is one question. Are you going to yes, stick I'll to your word? Yes, okay, I will. Good. Okay, good. So, I, if I answer your question, you're going to donate. Yes. Okay, good. So, your question is the following. So, he's saying that a couple of years ago, he left Islam. No. So, he's saying that because... To his logic, because this happens with a lot of people who leave the fold of Islam, or uh, there's a big question mark about is Islam, by the way, right now. But we'll come to that later. We'll, we'll come to that later. So now he's saying, if you, if the capital punishment applied to me, no. then I would have not, I would have changed my mind. I'm going to be a Muslim. We say, brother, the fact that Allah enabled that to happen is the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa taala that He enabled. Because what we're seeing is, if Allah allowed you to live, to know your mistakes and come back, that's the rahmah and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa taala. You get what I'm trying to say? And maybe it might have been that in an Islamic state, if you lived and the capital punishment applies, maybe you would have fled the country, left it, not capital punishment for you, realized your mistake, came back as a Muslim. So the point is this, even if the capital punishment applied, let's suppose you live in an Islamic country and there's a capital punishment, by the way, this, uh, this applies to a lot of people, treason. Edward Snowden is on the run. Okay, why? Because he committed treason to his country. So now, what I'm saying is the following. Answering your question, I repeat again. I'm not here to sugarcoat my religion. I am proud of the capital punishment in Islam, academically in an Islamic country. Nobody has said you can go bounty hunt. Like I wake up and I go, yes, I'm well bounty hunting for ex-Muslims. I know many ex-Muslims who I speak with, who are cordial individuals. I say, listen, look, that's no problem. So I've answered your first question, which is what? Number one, the verse that you quoted in the Quran, that is talking about the mushrikeen, if you read the tafsir, that was saying, why doesn't God send this punishment? And Allah saying, if he was to send this punishment, what does he do? He delays it for a day. What's that got to do with the murtad? So it shows your lack of knowledge. You're given an eye of the Quran that has nothing to do with that. Your second question, please, so we can get the donation. No, uh, you didn't answer because Quran is that, uh, not that verse only. 16, chapter 106. Whoever rejects Allah after his belief, except for one who is forced uh, to uh, renounce his religion while his heart is secure in faith. But those who willingly open their breast to cough, they will be condemned by Allah and suffer a tr- uh, tremendous punishment. Nothing about killing them. Uh, chapter 2, verse 270. And whoever of you revert from his religion and dies as a kafir, not get killed, dies as a kafir. For those their deeds have become worthless in this world and 
uh, the hereafter, <clears throat> and those are no. This is a you haven't answered my first question. I, you I, said, listen, you said to me, answer it. My answer is not based on your happiness. I like to know. You said if you answer it, I answer it. If I come and answer you and say, I believe the hadith is haq and that anyone that leaves his religion and turns against his uh, community, there's a capital punishment. I've answered. I don't care if you like it or not. Question one answered. Where's question two, please? No, well, you did. Chapter four, verse one hundred thirty-seven. Chapter four, four verse two. Listen, listen, I don't, listen, I don't need a donation. Anybody that rejects a hadith is a kafir. I'm Anybody. not rejecting hadith. I'm Anyone not rejecting. That rejects a kafir, no, no kafir. I'm not rejecting hadith. Yeah, okay. I, I believe in hadith. Prophet Muhammad. May I not guide you? So the, yeah, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says that. Listen, no donation. Again, right away. Again, right away. You are right. Thank you. No donation. Listen, I've got callers, brother. I've got more people calling, please. Look, uh, yeah. keep calling. Just one verse seven. of Quran. One verse of Quran, please. Just one. Chapter 4, verse 137 says that indeed those who have believed then became kafir, then believe, then became kafir, and then increase in hope. Never will Allah forgive them, nor will He guide them. So if their uh, uh, punishment is death, how can they become Muslim again after they disbelieve? How can they become okay. again Muslim? Okay. Okay, okay, very simple, very simple. If somebody, you need to understand something. In Islam, if somebody disbelieves internally, okay, but if somebody comes and proclaims and causes fitna in the land by saying, I've become an ex-Muslim, and he propagates and says Islam is false. No, it's in Islamic history, you would never see, either they get exiled, either they are receiving the capital punishment, Islam deals with protecting the community. And it's not just an ex-Muslim, by the way, Anyone, even Muslims, in Surah Hujirat and verse 12, Allah said, if two Muslims, armies, fighting each other, if one is causing corruption in the land, Allah says, fight the other until it comes to the command of Allah. The question is not about an ex-Muslim. They were Muslims who fought each other. The point is what? Because of corruption in the land. So your argument of ex-Muslims is irrelevant. Anybody that causes corruption in the land, there is capital punishment. For example... Again, stoning uh, uh, the issue of adultery. Yeah? Did they leave Islam? No. They were Muslims. Islam has those punishments in place. So in a nutshell, you're just insecure about your religion. You have an inferiority complex. So let's go to the next caller, please. And keep your 100 pounds. We don't really need it. Thank you very much. Yeah?